Welcome to October's Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is number of recent calls. You have a recent counter class which counts the number of recent requests within a certain time frame. Implement the recent counter class. Now, recent counter initializes initializes the counter with zero recent requests and ping adds a new request at time t, where t represents some time in milliseconds, and returns the number of requests that has happened in the past 3,000 milliseconds or three seconds. Specifically, return the number of requests that have happened in the inclusive range t minus 3,000 t. It is guaranteed that every call to ping uses a strictly larger value of t than the previous call, so that makes it a lot easier. Now, we could look at this example here. We initialize our recent counter. It's going to return nothing because it's going to be an empty class of some sort, and we ping it at one time second. And we'll just return one when that happens because that's obviously the first one only has one request in the last three seconds. Now at 100 milliseconds, we have two. In 3001, we have three. But in 3002, we only have three because the range now is from 3002 to 3002. And this one that we made at the millisecond one no longer is within that range. So what's the best way to do this? I think the best data structure to use here would be a queue. Just like the picture here, we can just initialize some sort of queue, append every single request to the right, and what we'll do is have some sort of loop where we'll pop off the ones on the left that are no longer within this range. That way we can keep track of everything that we need um, historically, and once we get rid of it, we don't really care about it anymore because we are guaranteed that these t values will always be or these t values will always be greater than the last one. All right, so let's do that. Let's first initialize a queue right here. We'll call that queue, and we'll just use pythons to queue there. And what we'll do is, when we get pinged, we'll take our t and we'll first add that to a queue, right? And that, and now we need to pop off everything on its right. So while there is a queue, while there's anything inside, rather, and self.q the very first one is less than t minus 3000 that's the case we want to pop it off the very first one so we'll do a pop left and then we can just return the length of the queue now to make it a little faster uh, we can just initialize like a count right here and i'll call that self count equals zero and we'll use this to kind of keep track of how many pings we've been given. Uh, that way we don't have to like uh, calculate the length every time in case it's like really large and it's expensive. So right here we'll just subtract count and this just keeps track of count. And really all we need to do is return that. Okay, so make sure this works. Looks like it's working. Let's submit that. And there we go. Accepted. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel and remember do not trust me, I know nothing.